All beef producers need to work to prevent having downer cows on their farm. We need to cull animals at the time that they're still in good physical condition and still have uh, some value when they go to market. We know that downer cows uh, are not going to be handled through the marketing system and we have to take them back home and to uh, have them put down. So it's much better to go ahead, kind of stay on top of things so that we do not have those downers. Uh, really all producers should be developing a plan that will prevent or at least reduce the possibility of having a downer. Some of these include culling those cows before they get too old or they get uh, in bad shape. Uh, we always think, well, I, that cow has, has done a good job over the years, I'm just going to get one more calf. Uh, there's got to be a limit as to how long she can stay around because if she stays too long, her chances of being a downer are increased tremendously. Uh, sometimes we'll get some cows that are arthritic, uh, they suffer from some type of injury. Uh, if we have those, uh, once they're up and going uh, in good shape, particularly from an injury, they need to go ahead and be cold before they get uh, in worse shape. Uh, foot problems also fit into this category. If we have one that has foot problems that don't clear up, if we've administered any drugs, uh, observe withdrawal time, and then go ahead and, and cull those animals. Also need to work uh, real hard in trying to prevent downers that are caused by calving problems. Uh, one estimate is that 46% of the downers that we have are caused from calving difficulties. Uh, a good way to work toward reducing this is simply doing a better job in selecting the bulls that we're using so that uh, we are not producing calves that are so large that it creates a, such a burden on that animal and causes the possibility of that animal pinching the nerve during the calving process and, and not being able to get back up. So use those APDs. I think they can be very beneficial in selecting the right kind of bull to prevent uh, uh, that possibility of downers. Also need to be very careful when we're transporting animals. Uh, Sometimes we have that attitude, well, if I can just get one more on the truck, I won't have to make that extra trip. Sometimes just packing them a little too tight on that trailer can uh, cause those animals to be unstable on their feet, thus they, they fall down and they get hurt. Something else we need to kind of keep in mind there too is that uh, that truck that we're, or trailer we're hauling those animals in needs to have a rough surface of some type so that animal can stand up. It's going to be a little slippery at best, but uh, again, if we have some type of rough surface, that will help. Uh, when we're driving that vehicle to the other pasture or the market, wherever it may be, need to drive cautiously. Don't get in a big hurry, no fast stops and starts. Uh, also don't need to be taking any curves too fast. Give that, give that animal an opportunity uh, to stand up and not slip uh, as they're moving through, uh, uh, through those areas. We need to be very careful if we are bringing animals across concrete to get them on a truck or trailer. Uh, concrete needs to have a relatively rough surface. Urine and manure on concrete makes for a very slippery surface and that uh, leads to the possibility of an animal splitting out or whatever and falling and of course this increases the opportunity for a major type injury. Uh, something that many of us may not have thought about would be those animals that are quite aggressive. If you get some of those aggressive animals that get to budding or, or moving around trying to be the boss in the herd, uh, they stand a chance of actually hurting another animal. So sometimes we need to get a little bit drastic and get rid of those animals so that they're not uh, causing a potential downer in the herd. Also, these aggressive animals are ones that could potentially hurt us also. So that makes it even more important that we get rid of those. Uh, we need to provide adequate nutrition for the animals that we have on the farm. As an animal gets thin, extremely thin, we are increasing the risk of being downers because they just don't have the uh, energy and the stamina to kind of fight back and, and, and maintain themselves in, in a good posture. Uh, so also we have that possibility that if an animal is real thin that that level of immunity may be reduced, thus we have the chance of an animal getting sick and getting down. I think all of us as beef cattle producers need to do a better job on the farm so that we can prevent the possibility of having downers. If you'd like additional information regarding uh, downer cattle, please contact your local extension agent.